Hey everyone, uh, in recent times I've become really interested in cinematography and um, especially looking at channels like Cinematography Database and all that and it's um, made me want to take more of a real world approach to uh, lighting within Blender and how I might light my characters. So I've come up with this kind of virtual film set or photography studio within Blender and it's just got a basic kind of backdrop and a camera um, which we can see the camera view at the moment and obviously if we hold shift F we can move around and get different angles and if we uh, render holding uh, shift Z we can see I've got these different uh, lighting setups. So this is just happening in cycles in the rendered viewport. And uh, it's just some of prepared earlier. And you can see how we can get uh, different moods and things just by simply changing the lighting on the same model. So if you wanted to create your own um, I'll show you how you might do that. So a real um, world example might be a large um, diffuse softbox. Uh, I'm not going to model out the whole softbox, I'm just trying to get the actual um, lamp output. So we can go ahead and whack a material on there, make it emissive. And this is already a light. So you can see how that affects our model now. Now we can crank up the strength, get it really bright and even change the color. And then with that um, with that light selected, we can press M and move it to our desired layer. And that'll just allow us to um, hide, show or hide that um, light on the fly. So we can I'll just show you how that works. We're just holding shift and clicking the layer just to show or hide it. And we can even combine it with our other lights that we've set up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, also, I'll just quickly show you um, if you do get these 3D scans, uh, how you might set up the materials in cycles. So if we just click on our model. Uh, this is a basic node setup in cycles. So really all it is is um, principled BSDF shader with the image texture and the specular map. And I've found that the normal maps um, they work but sometimes they can be glitchy and a lot of the models tend to look better without them, so you can actually just get rid of that. Um, and yeah, and it, you can apply the same um, method for showing and hiding with not just the lights, but also the um, actual uh, model or even actor, if you want to call that on set. So yeah, if you if you can set up this uh, blend file similarly, you can just use it as a call it kind of like rapid proto prototyping and I guess look look development tool. And yeah, there you have it. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions, put them in the comments below. And um, I'm sure with the release of Eevee in 2.8. Um, we could have an even faster 
method of doing this. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.